Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, this time it's going to be uh, Bahamut's Lufenia stage. And as you can see, this is a weird team. Because it's basically a cheese team. Uh, not specifically Kuja and Kura, but Jack here, because he can do this. And boom, he's leaped in front of the enemy. Which is a very important thing for what I'm trying to do here. Wow. As you can see, whenever Jack breaks the enemy, he puts his turn in front of them. And he can do that near infinitely. Mine doesn't have very good artifacts, so he's not doing his best as he could. But with this setup, he should be doing it. A decently huge chunk of damage, regardless. And the reason why uh, Bahamut's regaining brave like this is because when the crystals are out, it has a sap effect. Jack can recover his buff that lets him do this with both of his skills so he can keep doing this for quite a long time uh, for the first chunk of the fight you should be able to do this with HP plus as well though I'm not sure which one actually has a better uh, DPT but I tend to rely on Brave Plus just to make sure it actually breaks. It's a bit of a long-winded strat, but it's very effective. Thing to watch out for is his second skill does splash damage, so that can potentially kill the the crystals if you're not being careful. I believe once uh, he gets to eighty percent or just below it. He puts a poison on the party, I believe. Which, this strategy kind of helps. Yeah, once he gets under 80. This helps mitigate that just the tiniest bit. Since... Despite the fact that he puts it on multiple times with this strategy outside of Jack himself, everyone else basically only gets one dose of it. Now since my Jack is not really all that strong because again lack of good artifacts this can be a bit of a long-winded strat you get a hundred uh, turns for this stage and this strat will take up a good chunk of those I don't know how much health Bahamut has, but he's got quite a lot. Uh, 
With this strat, you're doing, I think, just under 1% per attack. So just a strategy of this by itself would not work. But this is just really fun just for the sole fact that Jack is such a cheeseball character. <laughs> Honestly, for a legitimate fight, you could probably substitute Jack out for a DPS of choice or someone with some kind of healing. Because normally a lot of HP damage is happening during this. I think one of the characters I'm aware of that's a semi-common... Character to be brought here is Warrior of Light. Helps uh, tank some of the brave hits from various attacks. As well as giving some battery and healing. Which is again sorely needed in this fight. But it's still just kind of fun to have Jack be the Mikita king. I'm going to uh, EX here. And I'm going to burst with Kuja. That did a good chunk. These are either going to be gone or mostly gone by the time this burst is done. Probably should have. Done his skill two first, but. Oh, well. Still did a decent amount of damage. Set up another absolute zero. And then... Back into the normal Jack nonsense. It 
doesn't even push him back. Which is really odd, but whatever. This is going to be really close with the healing. But I should have about 9 turns each of healing for the other two characters. So once this nonsense is over, I should be able to heal decently well enough. Grave attack some more. This is such a silly strat. Gonna get him down to about 20. Then I'll this next turn I'll do my second skill. Bring in my friend. Then, go into summon. Here's another seraphic with him I don't think this should do four And absolute zero.
And now it's done. That came closer than probably should have, but cheese is cheese. Still got well over the required amount. And managed to heal back enough with the Alexander summon. So there we go. Uh, Luf Bahamut Lufania has been cheesed. Basically, if you have Kura, you have Jack, you have Kuja, you're having a good time. It's basically... Doing it this way is just kind of avoiding most of the fight, honestly. Honestly, with Kuja, you shouldn't have too bad of a time regardless. But I do like my cheese. I cheese Odin. And I cheese this. If any more cheese happens, I'm probably going to jump right on top of it. But either way, that was my video for this. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in my next video when it's likely going to be something in Gauss event. What it is going to be, I don't know. But... Until then, see ya.